I recently completed construction of my office space and with that has brought a lot of Wi-Fi connection issues in that area. So I thought I would solve that problem by introducing Unify 6's mesh point. Uh, this is a $180 mesh point that uh, provides a 4x4 multi-use MIMO in the 5 gigahertz range, which theoretically can throughput 4.8 gigabits. Now that's just theoretical, folks. Additionally, it has 2x2 MIMO in the 2.4 gigahertz range, and that can reach 580 megabits of theoretical output. So that is something that I hope to add to this space and give or improve my Wi-Fi connection within this area. With that quick introduction, let's go ahead and get into the box of what you get for 180 bucks. Unify has always done a fantastic job at their unboxing experience. Right off the rip, you're inter you know you get introduced to your new Wi-Fi access point. Let's put that off to the side here momentarily and see what else you get. So if you want to put this thing in an area by which you don't have you know PoE, it comes with a PoE injector. I think that's what is bringing up the price of this thing. I wonder if they would package this without that if you didn't need something like this. It's not something that I'm going to be using in this area, but. You can see that this is the PoE injector. So you get the PoE and then you can connect your LAN cable to it if you don't have uh, the power throughput of you know PoE at your point that you wanna use. It's got a neat little uh, mounting plate so you can mount this thing, you know, put the screws in, lock it in place and uh, set it and forget it type of thing. Additionally, you get the power cable for the PoE injector. You get some zip ties so you can put that thing or secure it wherever you need. Uh, additionally, you get the pole mount for this thing because this thing is capable of outdoor use because it is IPX5 weather resistance. So if you have a covered patio or you wanna install it somewhere under your soffit, you know, all that type of stuff, that is something that you could consider utilizing this thing if you wanna extend outdoor usage with this. You also get the ceiling mount. So this would go up into the top and then you would, you know, put this thing up and secure it in, you know, some sort of false roof or something like that, or false ceiling that is. That's all you get in the box. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the mesh point. It has a significant amount of weight to it. Feels really great in the hand. Feels pretty substantial. Feels like it will hold up to the outdoor uh, elements in, if you wanted to use this outside. Um, let's weigh this thing and see how much it is. It just doesn't communicate across video very well for me just telling you it has significant weight. Weighs 14.8 ounces or almost a pound because it's 0.92 pounds. So, I mean, this thing does have a substantial amount of weight to it. See up here on the top that it has a little LED ring. You can change those colors within the Unify console. Now, on the bottom, this thing ships to you with the tabletop mount. So if we pull this little mount off, you can get access to the one uh, gigabit ethernet port that is and is powered by 802.3AF. So you can see here, there's a little reset button uh, down on the bottom and then there's the uh, ethernet port. And that's all you get with this thing. Let's go ahead and get this uh, adopted and test the differences to see if it does any improvement to my space. Hopefully it does, I think it will. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in. Uh, the white lights blinking mean it's, it's powering up and when it's a solid white, that means it's gonna be ready to adopt within the Unify. OS or the Unify console. I like how this thing looks on the desk. I mean, it, it isn't unsightly, it isn't unwieldy or anything like that. It's quite the conversation piece, if anything, at, you know, it, it reminds me or is very reminiscent of the Alien Amplify, but just in a much smaller form. Since I'm not being prompted for it, let's go ahead and head on over to devices. And then it, if all else fails, this is what usually happens. You can go over and just adopt it into your system. So now it's adopting and then it'll run through its whole thing, do its updates and whatnot. And we'll talk a little bit about its settings here momentarily. Okay, so now it's all adopted within my system. I do wanna highlight that this executed quite quickly in comparison to other devices that I've adopted to my system. Usually it takes quite a while for them to get adopted within the system and then run their first update to you know coincide with everything that's running on your system. I just wanna highlight that that was really well done and I really appreciate that it's speed up of adoption. Option. That being said, you can see everything is available here. The only thing that I really want to highlight is that my iPhone 14 Pro is connected to it and I want to do a comparison of the speed test between the two. Another thing to show is that the LED does exist and it has all of the radio connections, but initially it comes in auto mode 
because it's making decisions for you, but you have full capability of making those adjustments for yourself to fit it into your system. I am going to replace my Nano HD here shortly and kind of go full, uh, you know, Wi-Fi 6 within my home. Maybe even just remove it, add another mesh system, and then just drive everything off my U6 LR. That being said, if you're interested in the review that I did of the U6 long range uh, AP that I did uh, quite a while back that has been phenomenal within my system, feel free to click the card here or hit the link in the description. Um, it is a fantastic uh, access point and I, I wouldn't trade it for anything because it's just been really, really great. That being said, let's go ahead and hop into a speed test. All right, so I ran a speed test prior to implementing the mesh point in my office space. And I will say that my connection speeds, download and upload are abysmal. I mean, I was hitting about 43 megabits download and about 15 megabits upload. And that is absolutely horrendous considering that I have fiber internet with in my home. Like I said earlier, completion of construction added a bunch of interference between my office space and my U6 LR. So the concrete, the drywall, the studs, all the electrical, all of that stuff uh, added a ton of interference uh, between my connection within my office space to that access point. So I'm gonna drive the same test sitting in the same location on the same app, but now I'm going to be connected to the Unify 6 mesh point. Quite a significant improvement right off the bat. You can see that I'm getting around 285 megabits download. And then we'll pass on to the upload test and you can see that I've realized a significant uh, Wi-Fi improvement in my space. Now I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be able to get better connection if I tinker with some of the settings, which I will do and kind of dive into it because I'm no network guru. Uh, I'm sure that I'll get better speed tests by messing with some of those settings that are available to me. But this just shows the power of this system because it's really just a plug and play solution for most folks. I mean, uh, I've realized quite a significant uh, internet connection improvement with my Wi-Fi in the area that was absolutely just terrible prior to me buying this and putting it in this space. So this video has been extremely informal. I just wanted to walk you through the unboxing experience and my initial impressions of the Unify 6 mesh point. So far so good. And it's delivering on its necessity in my space because my Wi-Fi connection was absolutely terrible. Now I don't have to depend on a wired connection within that area because I have a lot of Wi-Fi connected devices within that area, like my overhead lights that you can see back here and some other things that I kind of depend on like uh, those shades and stuff because they are Wi-Fi connected and I use Google Assistant within this space. That being said, like this thing is quite viable in its implementation for those of you out there that use Unify products. I will say the pricing is a little bit high for what you get from this thing. You could, you know, mass deploy these in areas by which you would need, uh, you know, to extend uh, an outdoor space or something like that because it is waterproof or weatherproof that is. Um, I wouldn't expose it to the elements directly though. You know, I'd have to put it under a soffit or, you know, hide it somewhere, give it some cover to where it's not being pounded by the elements out there. So if you're interested in pricing availability, the links will be in the description. Those aren't my affiliate links, but just be aware that there are affiliate links down there. Because I'm not affiliated with Unify in any way, shape or form, those links are just directly to their website for you to look at. I don't get anything from that. I also want to highlight that I have nothing to disclose. You know, I bought this thing with my own hard earned cash with the support of you out there by watching, liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. I really appreciate all of that support. And I recently just surpassed 30,000 subscribers and that's a big milestone for me. I thought I'd never get there. So uh, thank you for that and I really appreciate it. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I am Tomas and I'll catch you in the next one.